dentistry was the most advanced scientific art during this time period. During this time period, they were actually doing transplants from one person to another, teeth-wise, implants, fake teeth, uh, dentures, partials, just anything we can do today, drilling and filling teeth, it was commonly done. Now, it was not done for every person. It was more for the wealthy, people who could afford that kind of care. The common soldier who probably, if he had a bad tooth, would have his tooth extracted, or what we would call root canal, which is taking a red-hot piece of steel and burning the nerve out. But if you were a person like His Excellency General Washington, you could have all sorts of wonderful things done in your mouth. I've seen letters from ladies that were written in the 18th century, and they didn't care if a guy looked good, they didn't care if a guy had money, they didn't care if he was kind, but if he had sweet breath, where they smelled his breath and it was nice, he was married. People in the 18th century liked cleanliness, but the logistics involved in cleanliness was a little bit tough. A toothbrush would be about a month's pay for a common person. So who can afford that? Um, the logistics of taking a bath. You gotta go get the water, you gotta heat the water, you gotta put get the soap in there, you gotta do all this. So a lot of times it was a lot easier just to continue on and go about your business and maybe throw some cologne on so you don't smell quite as bad. But they wanted to do it, but the logistics and the ability to do it was somewhat limited. So that's, that was one of the problems that they had. Um, Washington, he had his problems with his dentures and he was very embarrassed about them because he drank a lot of Madeira and it darkened his dentures somewhat so they looked like they were wood. That's why a lot of people say, oh, he had wooden teeth. No, they were just badly stained and he was embarrassed by that. And he knew that it was more attractive to have good looking teeth and be able to speak and eat and this, that, and the other. But unfortunately, they just did not have the technology to work on this and keep his teeth in mind. Click the subscribe button below and the bell icon to get notifications for new videos about George Washington and behind the scenes work at Mount Vernon.